I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. Yeah, in my bank account. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Chris, aka Mr. 540, Mechanic 540 here. Um, what I'm doing today is um, removing my shocks. Uh, my shocks are actually bad and um, they have to be taken off. And pretty much there's a boat there that's holding the shock on and there's a boat down there which I have to get um, a ratchet and um the whole other side while i turn one side of the boat the reason i'm replacing those are for one this connector here is bad and while my truck was in an accident so this shot here just completely broke off so safety is always first and plus i'm getting some rims put on today so i want to make sure that my truck is good all right so i'm gonna be back in a few minutes all right everybody i'm back with the 21 as you can see this is a 21 let's see where is that right there so 21 21 millimeter so of course this one at the top you don't need anything on the back because it's welded to the back of the uh, body of the truck so 21 down at the bottom 21 21 21 21 21 21 yeah yeah triple homicide all right i'll be back once i um get those boats off All right, what's going on everybody? So I was incorrect. Um, there is a boat back here. Um, it's also a 21. So I got my ratchet back there to hold it. And I'm gonna use my big boy uh, to get the front off. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna get this video for this one, but we'll see. Alright, so I got that boat off. And I'm sure what I'm gonna have to do is knock this back so the boat come out the back. And I'm gonna find a way to do the same to the bottom. And so I'm gonna show you the boat that I'm talking about. Well, the spot right here, so I'm gonna probably put some PB blaster or some WD-40 uh, so it'll make it easier. Not bad. All right, so I got me a regular old hammer that I'm gonna try to use. Let's see if it works for me. All right, so you get the drift of what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna get something to put in there and then knock it back some more. But I'll be right back. Um, the next video will probably be me putting on the new ones. I'm waiting for them to come in the mail, so just stay with me. All right. All right, I'm back. Um, I haven't got the shots in yet, but I'm just showing you how I got this off. Um, I put some PB blaster down there and kind of just wiggled it out. This part right here is already off. So I got a thing I was using back there to push the, um, the nut through, which I just dropped. There you go. I just used that to hammer the nut through and so here's the shop that I'm replacing and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side so um, I got the shop in place got the big bolts in place um, the shop was actually compressed and so what I did was I had to jack the that part up 
so that this could reach here. And again, it's still on the jack stand, but uh, once you jack this part here up, it lifts this part down here. All right, I am back. So what I'm gonna do is I have the wrench back here holding the back boat. I got it on here. I'm gonna kind of thread it through a little bit. Hand tight. Then I'm gonna take my power drill. get this wrench out of here and I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna do the same to this part. Got the wrench in to hold it. All right. That's it, so if you're gonna do the rear um, passenger you're gonna do it <clears throat> pretty much the same way but in reverse uh, once you get the shock on all right hope y'all enjoy it uh, make sure you like subscribe hit the post notification so you get all notifications when uploads are made all right